Good day, good day. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, Ephemeral Ya Babo Prince Mangosutu Butelezi. And I would like for you guys to watch till the end so that you can see the videos uh, ahead of the funeral. And also please like and share and comment and please subscribe. Mourners have descended on the town of Ulundi ahead of Saturday's funeral of veteran South African political and Zulu chief Mangosutu Butelezi. He has been granted a state funeral in honor of his contribution to the fight against white minority rule. As a mark of respect, the national power firm has also agreed Ulundi will not be subject to the national rolling electricity cut during the event. But his death at the age of 95 has opened up a debate about his legacy. Born into the Zulu royal family, he remained their traditional prime minister until his death. However, it was his role in politics that has split opinions. He founded the Zulu nationalist Inkata Freedom Party, IFP, after becoming disillusioned with the African National Congress, ANC, in the 1975, at the height of apartheid. He opposed the ANC strain on armed action and sanctions, arguing that they harmed black South Africans. Mangosutu Butelezi's supporters see him as a man of peace. For this, his supporters believe he deserves all the accolades being showered on him and the hundreds of people who lined the streets on Friday, leading to the Wapindangene Palace in Ulundi, along with praise singing Zulu regiments clad in traditional attire, see him as a man of peace. Professor Gia Leboha Maponye, head of African politics at the University of South Africa, acknowledged Butelezi was a respected traditional leader who made a contribution in history in ensuring that the dignity of black people, particularly Zulus, was not trampled on by the apartheid regime. Yet, it was what happened during the transition to multiple-party democracy in the early 1990s when an estimated 20,000 people died in violence between the ANC and IFP that has drawn criticism and opened up old wounds. We cannot forget that Butelezi's supporters were involved in acts that undermined his legacy, Professor Mapunge told the BBC. The City Press newspaper editor-in-chief Mondi Makanya was more for to write in his front page editorial a day after Butelezi's death calling him a murderous apartheid collaborator who was behind his squad linked to his organization. Makanya went on to describe positive tribute about him as the culmination of the greatest whitewashing of history that South Africa has seen. Toroza Township in the east of Johannesburg is one of many areas that experience political violence by those determined to derail the road to the country's first democratic elections in 1994. A monument to the 600 people who died there now stand on Kumala Street once the dividing line between two boring communities. On Thursday, people gathered at the memorial determined that their relatives who died would not be forgotten at this time. I lost my uncle during the violent clashes. He was bludgeoned to death. A man who asked not to be named told the BBC. He had called on Mutelezi to humble himself and apologize for the atrocities that were committed in his name. But instead of apologizing, he denied involvement until his death, he said. 
The IFP has dismissed these criticisms, saying me that Butele is in nor his party can't be blamed for planning the violence. After Nelson Mandela won the country first democratic elections, he and Butele buried the hatchet and the IFP leader went on to serve two terms as home affairs ministers in the ANC government. Mutelezi's son, Prince Zuzifa, said, The IFP shares our pain in seeing long discredited propaganda de derived by a few individuals who have not sense of humanity, but we will not be drawn into their spiral of hatred. History will vindicate our father. Event to commemorate the Zulu leader began on Wednesday in Ulundi with a memorial service organized by the IFP and addressed by dignitaries and politicians of all parties. But this too has become overshadowed by accusation that some are using the commemorations to play politics ahead of election next year with politicians accused of being prepared to revise history with votes in mind. This criticism has particularly been leveled at the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, the country's second largest opposition party launched 10 years ago. Its head of political education, Mbuiseni Ndlozi, took to the stage to praise the IFP founder, never to be shaken by the negativity of ill-informed, ignorant people, never be shaken by opportunist hypocrites who want to educate us about our own history and the leadership that has stabilized this country into a political, peaceful environment, he told the crowd of mourners. For the IFP, the funeral is also a good opportunity to canvass for votes and for other parties to woo a possibility collision partner in KwaZulu Natal province, homeland, to the country's largest ethnic group. Butelezi retired from active politics five years ago, but recently won praise for the overseeing the peaceful installation of the recently crowned Zulu monarch Misu Zulu Kazulitin Ahmed Abedli for the throne among his brothers. Although it was reported that he and the king were at loghead recently over the running and management of the Ingonyama Trust, a body with the role of managing communal land in KwaZulu Natal province. Mutelezi regarded the trust as one of his greatest success, and its creation did pave the way for the IFP to participate in the 1994 elections. Although it has come in for criticism, with some seeing it as unconstitutional, as it leaves millions of people in rural areas under rule of the king. But for historian Mpumele Lingidi, Mutele's nearly 70 years of service shown in unfailing dedicating to preserving Zulu's customs and rituals at a critical juncture in South Africa history, and for this role there is no doubt he will be revered. May he rest in peace, Ubaba Prince Mangosutu Mutelezi, as he is being laid to his last place today.
Um, uh, he was complex. He, he named many things after himself while we are still alive. <laughs> Uh, Prince Mangosu <laughs> to airport, Prince uh, Stadium, Prince uh, Mangosu University. To, uh, he built a whole um, tar road from Ulundi uh, 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 to his house in, in, in Masabatini. Uh. The tar road ends exactly by his house. <laughs> At his gate. Immediately after that, you're on your own. <laughs> so he was a, a complex character. He was very charming also. Yeah. A, a man who will hold um, a, a conversation uh, uh, with you for, you know, uh, grab your attention because mm. he was a great st storyteller. Thank you. 